Evening, sir. Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene, which means stay back. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Well, no, I don't. What makes you say that? The rain isn't helping, that's for sure. You ever feel helpless? Powerless? Like there's too much shit going on and you can't do a damn thing about it? Then you know what I'm talking about. I'm an officer of the law. I'm supposed to be out there doing something. Not stuck behind a desk or here doing guard duty. I know I could make a difference if I was just given a damn chance. I don't care who gets the credit, as long as the bad guys get put away. Wait, I see what you're getting at. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You really think you can help? Jesus, I must be crazy. I must be insane. But something. I don't know what. Something tells me I can trust you. Get inside. And quickly. I'll give a shout if someone comes by. Just get the guy who did this. I begin to understand why you were hired as a barkeep. Yeah. You had him eaten out of the palm of your hand. You have an enviable gift for empathy. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Is something the matter? Freezing? That is certainly interesting. Oh, the ice is perfectly normal. Nothing magic about it. It's the cold that's not natural. So you believe this is magic related? Are people still saying, duh, because, well, duh? No, I cannot say I am impressed with the mundane authorities. They should have noticed this when inspecting the site. Not necessarily. That officer said this place burnt down about a week ago. It wasn't raining then, which means that no ice should have formed. Hmm, perhaps you are correct. And perhaps this was meant to be. If there is danger here, we should be the ones to face it. Come on, melt! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett, enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Jesus! Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Well, I might be going out on a limb here, but I'm gonna say magic. Indeed. This cold is not natural. Neither is the smell. Ugh. Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but... As to whom, I cannot say.
Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted, escaped his body, and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. No, no he can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Thoughts? I have plenty of thoughts. None of them nice. Let me mull them over for a bit, okay? We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything, anyway. Whatever you found in there, don't tell me about it. Deniability and all that. Just find the guy who did this. I'm... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah? You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! <sighs> yes, there is. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing... Will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful?! It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me?! Eventually. Then I'll do it! No. No, it is not. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way?! There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah, in another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now, which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required, and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? Sure, on an alien world, in an alien dimension, all alone. Eat what? No, his flames are the source of his energy and will provide most of the fuel required. I will lend him the rest. The effect on me will be minimal. I will recover. There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. I... I can't! This is all too much! Master, I know you've done your best! Whatever you decide, I will do. And if they don't, they'll be stuck there forever. So the alternative is to murder him? Stay down here? 
Like this? I... I can't! This needs to end! Agreed. He cannot stay here, and he is much too dangerous to leave loose. This needs to be settled now. Besides, it's only a matter of time before some sanitation worker comes down here and gets the shock of his life. But you are not in his shoes. You cannot make that choice for him. Yes! Yes! Master, you are right! Maybe this is how it should be! Maybe I was meant to die that night. Okay. I am ready. <sighs> you guys should wait above ground. I need to focus. And besides, you don't want to be here. This isn't going to be pretty. This will come back to haunt us. In one way or another. Are you sure we made the correct choice? And yet, we ask him to suffer more. Perhaps it is worth it in the end. I am often told that I lack the perspective on such things, not being entirely human myself. You do not know me well enough to make such a statement. Perhaps, in time, you will find out for yourself. Eli, is he... Yeah, he's gone. I would prefer not to talk about it. Jordan gave me the ritual knife before he... went. And? And it's a knife. I'll study it back at my lab. Hopefully find something to make this all worthwhile. Can we hail a cab? I don't feel quite up to the subway right now. Of course. Good. You are awake. I was hoping to talk to you. Yes. And... no. You have completed your first field mission. You must have... thoughts. I am curious as to what they are. What are you feeling at the moment? It would be foolish not to be. You have encountered many changes very quickly. For some of us, the unavowed is a calling. For others, a duty. But for you, I have seen you in action. I have seen you react under pressure. You were clearly meant for this life. I would not say so if it were not true. Your old life, your life as a barkeep, prepared you for this. Your empathy, your ability to connect to others. They are qualities we need, quite badly, I must say. That is all any of us can hope for. At any rate, I detect no falsehood within you. You spoke the truth to me. Thank you. I will return to my training now. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I was just reading some old texts with Firesight. Something like that. It's a fire magic trick. Let's me read any book that was consumed by flame. It's a bit of a strain on the eyes, but beggars can't be choosers. It's an old Sumerian text about death magic. Really long, really boring. But I used to read books about S-Corp tax code for fun back when I was an accountant. I can handle boring. Ah well, see you at the meeting. Fire away.
Sure, I guess. We were feeding the birds. What? You expected something else? There's nothing special about it. Just an ordinary day. I... am? Huh. Yeah. I guess I am. The picture was taken in, uh, 77, 78. Around five years after my powers kicked in, anyway. I'd buried myself down here, studying old books, experimenting with spells, trying to come to terms with everything. Then Mandana dragged me out to the park. We fed the birds. It was nice, normal, ordinary. I felt human, and I can never forget that. Not ever. Well, I can't deny that's me. Almost 70 years ago that was taken. Could we not talk about this yet? You know what they say. If it's yours, put your name on it. But yeah, that's my house. Well, 50 years ago it was my house. Had to leave it behind when my powers kicked in. And the worst part? I was only five installments away from paying off the mortgage. Yeah, but I kind of don't want to talk about them now, if that's okay. Yep, that's me, hard at work. I can even remember the account I was working on. This dress manufacturer in Midtown, booming business, lots of numbers, tons of paperwork. It took me months to sort through it all. I loved every minute of it. Sure. That's right. Back in my mundane days. Back before my powers kicked in. I worked at the firm Weisel, Meltzer, and Sherman. There used to be a Beckett somewhere in the middle of that, but, well, you know. Yep, I was damn good at it, too. I made partner in five years. Worked at the firm for another 20. You had to know things to be an accountant back then. No computers to do half your job for you. And to make partner, you had to crunch numbers in your sleep. Me? I ate them for breakfast. Well, it was. For me, anyway. Lining up numbers in my head, making them dance, do what I wanted. My boss used to say it was like magic. Turns out the old man was being literal. Who knew? Yeah, throwing a fireball or preparing your tax return. Tomato, tomato. It's all just numbers, and I'm really good at equations and numbers. Always have been. Right, see you around. To send you aid would leave our own domains undefended. You know this, Kalash. Undefended against what? Ours is the only domain under attack. Your charter is quite clear. Recruitment is your responsibility. You accuse me of negligence. Just how many agents are currently in your employ? That is precisely the point. We have no agents to spare. I am sorry, Kalash. So am I, Aralax. New York is getting overwhelmed. When that happens, they will come for you. Then we must be ready when it comes. Aralax, out. Major Hanum swallow you whole. Ah, you heard that, did you? Lady Aralax, head of the Dublin branch of the Unavowed. It is no secret the threats have been escalating. I had hoped to appeal for aid and fill up our ranks. Alas, we are on our own. I respect Lady Aralax, but I should have known better. Never ask a dragon for anything. You will always regret it. Mm -hmm. 
a magic phone. I suppose that is one way of describing it. There are shards of this crystal in every branch of the unavowed. It allows us to communicate for whatever good that does. A dragon at the head of the Dublin branch of the unavowed. Yes, she is old, stuck in her ways. I suppose the same could be said of most of us. Yes, duty calls. I have appealed once more for aid. It has been rejected. Huh, this is my surprised face. Why do you bother with those cowards, father? Show some respect. They are correct. Stubborn, but correct. I didn't say that. I said that there are rules, and they are following them. Each branch is responsible for its own defense and recruitment. In this respect, I have been negligent. So have all the branches, Father. A sudden rise in threats would have caught any city unprepared. And we're that city. Lucky us. I shall appeal again, rest assured. In the meantime, let us go over last night's events. That is to be determined. Mage Beckett, have you recuperated from your ordeal with the Fire Elemental? You mean Jordan? Yes. Physically, I'm fine. And otherwise? I'll recover. It had to be done. In that, we can agree. However, I am deeply concerned that this mundane was able to acquire such a powerful spell in the first place. Yes, but why? Why would a demon do such a thing? Why do demons do anything? To create havoc, obviously. Why else? No, this was too focused, too targeted. We are not dealing with a mindless spirit bent on chaos and destruction. This demon had a plan, a purpose. We need to learn what it was. Fortunately, you won't have to. Ah. I know that look. You did as I asked, Mage Beckett? Yes, I did, sir. And it worked. Well, working. It's not quite done yet. What are you referring to? Oh, the ritual knife. I did a thaumaturgic scan on it. I couldn't be sure until I did the scan, but I did find something interesting. The knife was imbued with a very specific energy signature. Your demon's energy, to be precise. It's connected to you, and you alone. That's why you were the only one who could use it properly. Which means we can track it. <clears throat> well, I can track the energy signature. But, the demon's out of your body now. Its energy signature has changed. I can only track where it's been when it was in your body. It was busy, I'll say that much. It was all over the map. I'm trying to narrow it down to the areas of greatest activity, but it's slow going. So far, the scan's got you pegged in two places. The Bronx, around Gun Hill Station, and Staten Island by the ferry terminal. 